Hi everyone, it's me Paula and I'm here to do a project share. Um, I did a, I just finished this and I had started a few days ago but I lost my mojo along the way. <laughs> but um, I finally finished and this is for my friend Natalie. Me and her are in a swap and I, I had asked her um, what color she wanted and I made her a configuration box and the color was light teal. Um, let me just get this real quick. And you're going to see dirty hands because I just finished coloring and gessoing and all of that good stuff. But I used this color. I asked her if this was a, um, an okay color for me to use on the box. And she said yes. So um, the configuration box was gifted to me by Vicky. She's CraftyGal32 here on YouTube. Um, thank you so much, Vicky. Um, I really enjoyed um, creating this using the configuration box. And... So Natalie, this is what I created. I really hope you like it. Let me see if I can move you guys so that I can be in frame. And this is what it looks like. And what I did is, um, let me just turn it around. And it has a bunch of glue strands. I just colored it. I just did it first, the whole thing, and then I colored it in that pretty color. Um, it's a really pale, like a really light teal. Really, really beautiful color. And on the back, I'm planning on adding a hard doily and my information for her. For Natalie so what I did is I went around it with this trim all through the back so it wouldn't look plain and I might add some more trim on the bottom I had to go through my stash to look for the um the little dainty lace so I might add more laces on the back but this is what I created let me um just go let me do the the top part first and so this is what it looks like hopefully this is focusing I added this really cute bird and they look like this and I had gotten this from AC more a while back actually like like three weeks ago so I added the little bird there and this trim here that's peeking out this is um that is this trim and what I did is I just hot glued it I ruffled it up and I hot glued it all the way in the front so that I could have some like ruffles peeking out and so Here's more of a better view. So here you can see the ruffles. Real pretty um, trim that Natalie has in her shop. And she has a bunch of her trims 20% off. And um, she just has great deals and really, really cute stuff. So I added the trim there. And I added a bunch of um, different flowers. And some of these teal flowers um, I have received from um, Belinda. She's um, 75 Lady in Red here on YouTube. So thank you so much. I use a lot of the flowers that you gifted me. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So here's some more flowers. Here's some, some more that she gave me. And this one. Here's one of my rolled flowers. And then what I did is I just grabbed um, this pearl trim that I had in my stash. And I just um, glued it in like in a spiral. Like this. And here's another one of my rolled flowers. And a trico. Here's a bead. Um, I believe there's a bobble here right here and then let me go through the compartments um so what I did is I covered the paint I covered it with teal paper I don't know if you guys can see let me move this over here so that I can kind of see what I'm doing so here's a spool and what I did is I just um dabbed some blue paint on it and then I added this lace that Vicky as well sent sent to me and I added it like this like if it was you know draping down and in the background, there is a crochet piece. And then there's a, a filigree piece that I have. So on here, this is one of my bottle caps. I added it back there. It looks like that real pretty with the butterfly. And then this piece here, Marta has sent me. And what I did is I just cut it in half. It was a circle like this. And I cut it in half. So thank you so much, girly. Um, I really, really like those. So I just added dainty trim to... um to the parts here's another compartment and this is a tiny little spool with some eyelash trim and then here's a bobble some flowers some of Nat's butterflies here's another flower that Belinda sent me I don't know if you guys can see that but it's right there and then this um, butterfly here as well Belinda sent me again so thank you so much it was to you and what I did is I just rubbed on um gesso so it looks like this then here's another flower, and then here's a little pearl. Then here's the, the same trim that I used up here, this one. 
but on the spaces since i didn't have thin white ribbon what i did is i just added to fill in the spaces just some white fat backs and then i did this little um thingy here and what i did she's popped up in the background and this is one of the first images that natalie has sent me when she was coloring and she was so cute with the little dress and she's actually on top of um stacked books but i just cut her cut off the little books and put her there popped up and then there's the little fence then there's some flowers and a pearl on this one is a blank piece a huge treacle flower here some more some more of these pearl beads he I added two little birds as if they were kissing for um so that looks real cute then here's another piece um here you could barely see because I kind of covered it but there's a butterfly and some flowers and then here I created this butterfly with the same lace with this one I just ruffled it up and I sewed it together to create that little butterfly and I added this as the body the little flower and then back here is another crochet piece with another um with another flower on top so that looks like this oh and here this is a um Natalie has sent this to me these are these um I forget what these are called we sprays I think they're called so I thought they were so cute so oh and as the feet I just added these um glass marbles I was looking for my dominoes but every time I move my, I move my room around um I always lose everything so I had to add these little marbles as feet so Natalie, I really, really hope you like this and I'm going to be sending your package around maybe the 10th of June so that you could receive it around your birthday. So I still have a few more things to add. So thank you all so much for watching. Everyone have a blessed day and thank you all so much for your wonderful comments. I really appreciate them and I will talk to you guys later.